Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have in my shop this absolutely beautiful 2018 Toyota Corolla LE. I should probably show you the interior because that's a really really nice modern vehicle. I really like it. The seats are really nice. I definitely will take this all day long as a gas saver or a shopping car going just to the work and so on. Very very nice. Drives beautifully. Very simple still. You can see that 2 ZRFE 1.8 liter 4 cylinder engine, great on gas. And basically the reason it is in my shop today, it's 30,000 miles on the clock. So it's the whole service. That service includes engine oil and filter change, engine air filter, cabin air filter, topping, checking and topping all the fluids. And that's basically it. At 30,000 miles, there are no other services needed. I will be also rotating tires. In this video, let's film how easy it is to do the engine oil and filter change. To get the oil nicely out without having any vacuum in the engine, I always pull the dipstick, which opens that and the oil will be nicely flowing out. So let's get under the vehicle. And if you look in your owner's manual, the only other service will be theoretically if it had the manual transmission, but this one has automatic. And the person was towing some trailers or driving in a lot of dusty conditions. Then the manual the warranty and maintenance book says you should be replacing also the manual transmission gear oil. But for us, we have automatic. I don't worry about that fluid whatsoever. So let's go and do that engine oil and filter change. I brought my used oil catching carry. I position it down here. For the drain plug, you need as usually 14 millimeter socket look that was nicely perfectly correctly torqued yeah and we can open the drain plug i will still bring that carry a little bit higher so we don't have any splashing and here we go i'm sorry being in your way but it's just for a few seconds Boom! Nice 0W20 full synthetic engine oil. It looks pretty okay, definitely not burned, but that's what you expect. The engine and vehicle is relatively new, so there should be no surprises here. And that drain opening and the filter, they are so close to each other that I can immediately continue with removal, loosening this filter. I'm putting myself in those odd angles because I want to avoid covering your view. And look at it, it wasn't too tight. And you basically crack it loose and you let also this area to drain. I will continue with just unscrewing this filter. There should be no surprises. Again, very simple. As you can see, I will let it drain a little bit more and then I will start installing the new one. As you can imagine, fast loop shop doesn't have a time to stand around and let the oil get out. They just go really quick. Look how much oil is still coming out even after 10 minutes. So that if you go for a fast paced place that will be all left inside and mixed with the new oil. When it finally stops dripping I will replace that drain plug washer uh, which is here. This is the number from Toyota. It's a gasket. They call it gasket. 
it has that blue color you can see they you can buy them in the pieces of tan or something so when it's finally good this was actually dripping like 20 minutes because I'm filming it and I want to have it perfect I'm not in a hurry I've got a time for it so it's good for a customer you hand tied it and then you use again that 14 millimeter this time be careful you don't want to strip the oil pan or the bolt so I'm using a very small ratchet which I have a feel in it I know what I'm doing for you if you want to do it first time you should probably use some torque wrench and it will be 39 newton meters I will use this last drop of the oil to lubricate the gasket on the new filter after that I can wipe it off clean it and screw on a new filter look at that that will be always only by the hand so you screw it on tight but you don't need to worry about it it will fall off no you don't need any wrench this is enough and it will not fall off and it's correctly installed by the hand only back up here in the engine bay I will remove this filler plug always there's oil so I always clean it immediately with this rag I just don't want to have any oil droplets anywhere over the customer's vehicle and I will bring my special screw on Toyota funnel I don't want to make ever mess here you can see what we will be using it's written right here you don't need to remember it it's a full synthetic 0w20 I reviewed this funnel in one of the previous videos if you are interested in it it nicely screw on there is a gasket there's no way you will make a mess it's large enough I am the old man with shaky hand so I need a funnel I saw recently one of the youtubers he has a shop big shop it's a car ninja he was working on some beamer and was refilling the coolant like a pretty small opening he just grabbed that five quart huge thing and he's like oop right in I was like oh dude you have a steady hand you put it right there without spills so I don't so I use the funnel and we said we need a 0w20 for these vehicles I love to stick with this mobile one I will say it's a golden standard of the engine oil and this engine takes 4.5 this is 5 US quarts it takes 4.5 so I will pour it all the way when I'm in middle uh, right here you can see when I will be pouring it there's no way I will get it without funnel nicely in this is way easier it will avoid any spills look at that beautiful gold color that engine this engine will be very happy today with this new oil I guarantee that and as I said I stop right here in the middle so that tells me I got there 4.5 quarts if you are not sure if you don't trust it you can also use the dipstick you will wipe it dry there is a bottom and top mark so you should be close or right below the top let's see what we got here oh yeah and it's slightly above and that's absolutely correct because when the engine will start the oil will spread and then it will go back down in the pan it will be right on the top so this is perfect and I can finish with removing this funnel I always use that rack again so it's not dripping because there is always a little bit left inside I completely clean this 
you will have a look if you have any sludge it will be inside here but that's a new engine that will be shocking if something like that happens and just close it wipe it off and basically this engine all on filter change is finished it's not finished for me i still have to put a windshield reminder sticker reset the maintenance system start the engine check for the leaks possible leaks you look under and only then you can go for a test drive but i still have to rotate the tires for the owner so i hope you find this video helpful entertaining and please be subscribed i have way more coming your way soon thank you for watching and have a great day my friend